Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are once again going to be taking a look at Nintendo Switch emulation. This video is going to concentrate on some pretty huge updates which we've just been given thanks to the developers over at Ryujinx Emulator. In my last video, I showcased Monster Hunter Rise running on this Switch emulator. However, in that video, you were only able to attain playable performance levels or at least what I would consider playable performance levels on only the highest end systems. Now in the last two days, the Ryujinx team have released a brand new version of their LDN build titled LDN 2.2. This build not only dramatically improves this game's performance, but it also fixes most of its rendering problems, while at the same time enabling you to play an online multiplayer with your friends over the internet using their local wireless LDN implementation. On top of all of these awesome fixes, which we are going to be taking a look at, Monster Hunter Rise has also received a ton of new mods, including a true 1440p and true 4K or 2160p resolution mod, as well as updated versions for the latest game version 1.1.2. All of the gameplay footage you've been watching thus far has been using this 4K resolution mod as well as the aforementioned 60 frames per second mod and as you can see on my very high end system at this very very high resolution I'm able to get really really playable frame rates on this emulator. Now don't worry if you have a much lower end system than the one I'm currently using you'll still likely be able to get very very good performance especially so with the huge performance update we've been given in this brand new LDN build. Speaking of performance differences, let's take a look at just how much this has changed in the last few days. I'm also going to be taking a look at the performance impact of utilizing these 1080p, 1440p or 4K resolution mods. Okay, so to set our baseline for performance, this is how it was before we were given this brand new LDN build. You can see that even on my 10700K, which is clocked at 5.1 GHz, and my RTX 3070, I'm only barely getting 26 to 28 FPS in this area, the village, which is one of the most demanding places in the game. Transitioning over to this brand new LDN 2.2 version, you can see here in this exact same spot, I'm now getting between 40 to 43 frames per second. That is an enormous 60 to 65% jump in performance in just the last 5 days. This new LDN 2.2 build also drastically improves performance in other games, for example Pokemon Sword and Shield, which are also fully compatible with online functionality, allowing you to do things like trade Pokemon and fight other trainers in online battles via this local wireless online multiplayer over the internet. Now, something I also said I was going to do is compare and contrast the rendering and performance levels that you can expect when using any of these resolution mods, so let's jump straight back over to our village scene to do exactly that. Okay, so first up we have the game running without using any resolution mods at all. This is running at I believe 1344 by 756 so 756p, just barely over 720p. This is how it renders natively on this emulator and also natively on the Nintendo Switch. As we saw before, it's running at somewhere between 41 to 43 frames per second when running at this barely over 720p resolution. Let's bump things up to 1080p native and see how things are running. By jumping up to this full HD resolution, we did lose a few frames. Basically, we lost 3 to 4 frames per second, dropping down from 41 to 43 frames per second to 38 to 40, but I think we can all agree the image quality gained by swapping from 720 to 1080p is more than justified for a 3 frame per second loss. Personally, I think this 1080p mod is going to be one of the most popular since 1 it gives you a lot better visuals in game and 2 it also keeps most of the added performance we've been given in the past few days. Let's ramp things up again and move from 1080p all the way up to 1440p resolution. Similar to the move from 720p up to 1080p, we lost a few frames per second once again, dropping down from 38 to 40 frames per second down to somewhere between 35 to 37 or 38 frames per second. 
Though again, it has to be said that the improvement in visual quality even here in this village area is fairly significant when moving from 1080p to 1440p, at least in my opinion. Our final move is going to be a swap from 1440p all the way up to 4K or 2160p resolution. Again, this bump in res has a very similar effect to all of the previous ones. We lose between 3 to 4 frames per second this time, moving us from 36 to 38 frames per second in this intensive scene to around 33 to 35. Interestingly enough, when you put native resolution and 4K resolution side by side, the GPU usage isn't really that much different. It's somewhere between around 68 to 74 percent utilization on my RTX 3070. However, this difference is going to be vastly different depending on the GPU you have in your own system. For example, on my 3600 1070 system, I was getting a much higher frame rate drop when moving from 1080p to 4K resolution. So that is just something I want you to be mindful of. Another thing I want to mention is that at the moment, this 1440p and 4K mod are currently only in testing. We're basically at the moment trying to see if they introduce any crashes or possible stability issues on the emulator and once they are fully tested, they are going to be released. I believe the public release date for both of these mods, the 1440p and 2160p mod, is the 16th of April. Alternatively, if you can't wait and want to help out their creator, you can head on over to the boy 181's Patreon and get access to them right now, giving him a little kickback for the work he does by creating these mods, while also giving you instant access to any of the mods he creates now or in the future. As I said, this new LDN 2.2 build can be downloaded right now absolutely for free for everyone. I will leave a link to the Ryujinx Emulator's Patreon page. It is linked in a download link in a special post which you'll find down in this video's description. Don't worry, you don't need to pledge or give any money for access to this build for this performance level. Though, if you wish to help this emulator develop now and far into the future, I absolutely can recommend pledging to their Patreon. These guys have been killing it lately with all of their new feature and performance updates. I in fact have a brand new video in the works covering most of their latest and greatest improvements that will probably go into kind of a joint video where I'm going to be looking at CMU, Yuzu, RPCS3 and Ryujinx. Hopefully I'll get some Xenia news in there, also they've also been doing some cool stuff as of late, so make sure to keep your eyes peeled on the channel for that update video. Since a lot of you have also requested it, I'm going to be doing an updated Ryujinx install and optimization guide showing you how to get the most out of your emulator performance wise utilizing this brand new LDN 2.2 build. I'm going to be showing you in that video exactly how you can utilize the online functions and get all of your games running to the best of their possible potential. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon if you're already subscribed to get notified when that video goes live in the next 24 hours. For now at least, that's going to be it for this video. I have a hell of a lot to do, so I'm going to stop talking for now and get working on it. Once again guys, thank you all very much for checking out this video. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. As always, remember to like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see all future videos from me.